Basically, uh, there was an attack against the Israeli embassy in London in July 1994. And uh, the Israelis had been hassling for increased protection around their embassy in London for the preceding few months because there had been a couple of other big attacks against their interests around the world. Now, MI5 had no intelligence to suggest that any um, uh, Arab terrorist groups were planning an attack against the Israeli embassy. London had traditionally been a sort of safe haven for um, Middle Eastern groups because they were given a certain amount of freedom of expression and things. So they didn't think they had either the capability or the intent to carry out an attack in London. Um, so the Israelis were getting quite frustrated about this. They were also, because of this safe haven idea, getting increasingly frustrated at a political network which had been set up by a bunch of um, immigrant Palestinians. And it was doing very well. I mean, they were really raising awareness about their, their people's plight. They were raising money and funds and sending them back to the Middle East to help them. Um, so, a bomb goes off. Two innocent Palestinians were picked up. They were part of this support network. And they were subsequently convicted, not of the attack, because they had cast iron alibis, but they were convicted of conspiracy to cause this attack. And it looks like they were set up, they were fitted up, because there was a shadowy figure called Rida Mugrabi, who kept swimming in and out of their story. He was never traced, even though he was the one that bought the car that the bomb was in. He's the one who was, you know, all asking them to put themselves in certain places at certain times, which led to the circumstantial case against them, which led to their convictions. But nobody bothered to try and trace him. And I think he was probably um, an Israeli agent. But the crucial thing that uh, David saw was a report written by a senior MI5 officer. Um, his code name was G91. And uh, he had seen all the evidence and all the intelligence, more crucially, in the run-up to this attack. And his assessment, his view, was that Mossad had bombed their own embassy. Call me a conspiracy theorist, but <laughs> that's what this guy said. <laughs> 